In this video, we are going to just look at one example of analyzing exponential graphs. Now here we are told to consider the graph of f of x equal to 2 to the x minus 2. Determine the values of x for which, and again we are always asked to find the values of x. For which, f of x equals 0. Now that is where y equals 0, which means we are looking for the value of our x-intercept. From the graph, we see that the x-intercept is at 1. So we answer with the x value, x equals 1. Okay, the second question asks us to give the values of x for which f of x is greater or equal to 0. That means whether y values are greater or equal to 0, so whether y values are positive or 0, which means that we are looking at the part of the graph that is above the x-axis. So if we find that part of the graph, but we answer in terms of the x values. And we find the x values for each point by looking vertically down. Okay, so the x values are here. And remember, this graph would continue forevermore, so we go to infinity. So to represent these x values here, we say that they are the values that are greater than 1. So as an inequality, that would be x is greater than 1. But now because we, it also asked for the values where f of x is equal to 0, we will include that 1. Okay, the third question asks where, sorry, for the values of x, where f of x is less than 0, which means that where the y values are less than 0, which is where the y values are negative, which means the part of the graph that's below the x-axis. So we can use the y values to determine the part of the graph, but we need to answer in terms of the x values for this part. So just drawing these vertical lines finds, helps you to find the x values. Okay, so we want all of these x values and remembering that our graph would continue towards negative infinity. Okay, so these values, these x values here, are the values of x that are less than 1. So our answer is the x values that are less than 1. In this case, we don't include 1 because it didn't also ask where f of x was equal to 0.